Good day, I'm Associate Professor Dr. Karen Reid. I'm the Research Director here at NIM, the National Institute of Integrative Medicine. And I have been with NIM for eight and a half years, uh, setting up the research department since 2012. This month, November, is Movember, and Movember is actually looking after men and especially uh, men's problems like prostate cancer, testicular cancer, and mental health issues. And NIM actually um, is looking after, or has a very specific test which looks after cancer detection. So prostate cancer is actually um, the second leading cause of cancer in Australia. Uh, one in seven men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime. Currently, we've got about 90,000 Australian men living with prostate cancer, and unfortunately, 3,000 men die each year from prostate cancer. At the moment, we have a prostate screening test, uh, which is the PSA blood test, which is not very accurate. It has a very high false negative rate and a very low false positive rate. Here at NIM, we actually developed a test which is a lot more accurate than the PSA blood test. The test we developed has a very high accuracy rate of 97 to 99%. It's important to have a better screening test than the current PSA blood test because um, we would like to reduce the burden of unnecessary biopsies, which can have a lot of health implications. The new test we developed here at NIM is a two-tier test which basically looks at circulating tumour cells in the blood. It's a cytology-based test where we look at the cells and we can say whether they are malignant or benign. This test has been validated for more than 20 years, over 80 plus studies all over the world. It comes from France, it's called the ISET CTC test. And this cytology is actually a technique which is used in oncology hospitals um, to look at tissues and to decide whether they're malignant or not. So with this test, we're just looking at the circulating tumor cells in the blood, but we're using the same analysis technique they use in the hospitals. And it's a hundred year old technology. So very, very accurate. Secondly, we look at where, if we find CDCs, where these come from. So do they come from the prostate? So we use a marker, which is specific for the prostate, and if it comes out positive, then it is most likely that those CDCs are from the prostate. So that's how we get this 97 to 99% accuracy, because only 3% of men don't have the prostate marker on the uh, prostate. So with this new um, prostate cancer screening test, we would actually like to let people know about it and test it on a population level. And currently we are doing a study uh, where we invite men um, to get screened for prostate cancer. And the screening test is basically uh, so much more accurate than a PSA blood test. So I remind you the figures. 97 to 99% is the accuracy of the test we do compared to the PSA blood test, which is 15 to 25% accurate. If you are interested in participating in the study or know somebody who would like to participate, then please go to our website. It's nim.com.au forward slash prostate cancer test. If you're interested in um, doing the CDC test, which is actually um, working for any type of cancer, not just prostate cancer, you can get in touch with us uh, via research at nim.com.au.